while it isn't exactly a rut, I am definitely stuck. This is something that could happen out on the beach or in the soft sands of a desert wash or even in freshly fallen snow up in the mountains. And typically, it'd be on something like a car, an SUV, or even a truck that doesn't have four-wheel drive. But let's be honest, this can happen to anybody, and in any vehicle, even if it did. Of course, the worst thing you could do in a situation like this is to dig in your tires. Now, if you own a Jeep or have a vehicle with four-wheel drive, it's always helpful to be in it before you need it. And if you have a transfer case, it can be really helpful to be in low range. The lower gears will allow your tires to turn a lot slower, and that'll help you to creep up and out of the hole that you're in. But what do you do if you don't have four-wheel drive? Or anything to give your tires a bit more traction? Well, the first thing you should do is to let some air out of your tire. Actually, a lot of air, like practically down to zero. And while you can use something like your thumbnail to let the air out, you can always use something like a stick or a rock or any tool that will get the job done. Of course, the right tool for the right job is always best. And so I'm gonna use my Evo air down tool. So the way this thing works is that you thread it onto the valve stem like this. And then once it's fully on, you use this upper part to extract the core. And then you let the air out. And periodically you can check to see where you're at. So right now I'm at 27.6. Now I'm at 24. Of course, the benefit of using a tool like this is that it lets air out really fast. So we're down to about six PSI, five PSI. Now I'm gonna put the valve stem core back in. Make sure it's nice and tight. Then unthread it off the valve stem itself. And then repeat on the other side. Now, the reason why you want to let so much air out of your tires is that it'll give it a much bigger footprint. And because of it, it'll allow you to have more traction and help you to stay up and on top of this loose and slippery stuff. So from here, it can be really helpful to help clear some of the sand out in front of your tires. And if you've got it, a small shovel like this can be really handy. Ideally, you just kind of want to give your tires the best chance possible to get out. So you want to make kind of a ramp, make it do the least amount of work. Okay. All right, let's give that a try. Just like that, we're up and out and on the move again.
Now, I should note that I am not a professional, and I am not about to suggest that what you just saw is the best way or even the only way to get unstuck. I'm sure there are plenty of other people out there who know way more than I do, and all I would ever hope to do is share what I would do and what has worked for me and with the hopes that it might be able to help you out as well.